Hey guys, welcome back. This video we're going to be talking about the do while loop. So I definitely recommend you check out the while loop video. And it's really simple if you're just jumping in, you know the do while loop. Basically, while something is true, do something. Very simple. The do while loop is different in that it's always going to do something at least once. This means the do while loop is ideal for scenarios when, when you need something to execute at least once, but potentially more. And the main use I can think of is input validation. So let's say you ask a user for a number zero through nine. Well, more than likely someone's gonna try and put in pizza or something larger than nine, for example. And this can break your program. So in order to fix this, we can basically ask them once and if they don't put something in that's correct, well then, keep asking them until they do. So that is what I typically use do while loops for. But like I say all the time, programming is very dynamic and you can often do things more than one way and it ultimately kind of comes down to personal preference and hopefully you'll see that by the end of this video. So let's try creating a do while loop. The first thing I wanna do is I just want to explain where everything goes because it's still going to have an initialization, a comparison, and an update. We just gotta figure out where. So let's make a little uh, comment section for a minute. So the very first thing we're going is to have the initialization. That's gonna go first. My dog's making a bunch of noise. <laughs> then we're going to have, here, let me get rid of this comment actually, it's not as clear. Then we're going to have the word do, while, and we're gonna have parentheses and a semicolon. Make sure you put that semicolon at the end, it seems odd because we're, we're used to putting curly braces after a while, like um, if I can type, which I obviously can't, like that. But you just gotta, you gotta put the semicolon there. Don't forget, it's a mistake I've made numerous times. So we have the initialization there. We have our comparison here. And we have our update here. And our actual code goes here. So make sure you make you do the initialization outside of the do loop or not the do loop the do uh section because if you do it inside of the do you're not going to be able to reference that variable here because it's not going to exist outside of these curly braces i'll show you that in just a moment so let me just comment this stuff out so i can keep it here and let's actually write one so we're going to say do and what we're gonna do is we're going to ask for user input. And we're gonna scan, and this is where the, in, the uh, initialization comes in. You, you say, oh, I need to scan in a variable. My first thought is to go like int input and then do a scan f. This isn't gonna work quite right though because we're declaring input inside of the do, uh, do section, which we don't wanna do. It's gotta be outside of the body of the do. But we'll, we'll do that in a sec. like that. So we need to take this input and we need to put that out here. There we go. Now we have while and now we just basically say as long as input is not legit we're gonna keep doing it. So if inputs less than zero or input is greater than nine. Um, Oh, yep, gotta use the address of operator because it needs a pointer. Please enter a number zero to nine, five, and the program ends. 